Aldo from Zero to Mastery here. In today's tutorial, we're talking about what C Sharp is all about. Now, this isn't just any tutorial. It's part of Claudio Bernasconi's complete C Sharp and .NET Bootcamp course available on Zero to Mastery. So whether you're looking to start out with C Sharp or maybe just trying to sharpen your skills, click the link in the top right hand corner or check out the description below for the full course. All right, that's it from me. Let me hand it over to Claudio. Enjoy. You already know that C Sharp is a programming language. In this lesson, we will learn about what type of programming language C Sharp is and what to remember when learning C Sharp. C Sharp is a general purpose programming language for the .NET platform created by Microsoft. This is the best explanation for what C Sharp is in my eyes. Now, let's go a bit deeper to understand the ideas behind C Sharp and its current state. When we look at programming languages from an academic point of view, there are definitions for different types of programming languages, or more precisely, different type of language paradigms. A language paradigm is a pattern or definition that describes a programming language's behavior or goal. When it comes to C-sharp, we have about nine different language paradigms. Let's quickly go through the most important paradigms. Static typing allows the compiler to check for potential programming errors. Checking errors at compile time instead of runtime shortens the feedback cycle in the developer loop. C Sharp is object oriented, which means that it offers many language features to support modeling software using objects. We could go through all other paradigms in more detail, but that's not important. The thing I want you to understand is that C Sharp is a multi paradigm programming language. Most modern programming languages do not fit exclusively into one of the language paradigms. To make a programming language usable in as many scenarios as possible, it needs to be very flexible. Multi-paradigm programming languages allow developers to choose from a variety of language features to solve a problem. Hence, they're called general purpose programming languages. The reason why I think that's important to understand is the following. When I learned C Sharp for the first time, I was around 16 years old and in a programming class. It was around 2006 and object orientation was the proposed way to write software. So we all learned how to write object oriented software and every developer used the same limited set of language features, no matter what problem to solve. Sometimes we ended up writing horrible code because we thought everything had to be done using object oriented patterns. It took me a long time to understand that C Sharp also offers other options, for example, functional programming. The truth is that C Sharp offers a wide range of patterns and language features and is designed around many different programming language paradigms. That's why I recommend learning the basics of C Sharp at the beginning and as your experience grows, diving into more advanced language features. The best definition I came up with is that C Sharp should be a simple to use and modern programming language that allows developers to solve a wide range of problems with object-oriented programming in mind. It supports a wide range of best practices and software engineering principles such as strong type checking, array boundary checks and much more. The language should be designed to help developers make good decisions. Another important goal was to make C Sharp a programming language with great internationalization support so developers worldwide could use it to build software. You can find more information about the design goals of C Sharp in the language specification. C Sharp has a long history. It was first released in version 1 in January 2002. It wasn't widely adopted right away because besides C Sharp, Visual Basic.NET was another programming language for the .NET platform that had a history going back even before the .NET platform. 
C Sharp was a new language specifically designed for the .NET platform. It took some time to implement helpful features and it started becoming more popular with version 2 and 3. With later versions, the language turned into what we have today, a programming language that allows developers to build everything from small apps to large-scale distributed cloud applications. In the past, it usually took 1 to 3 years for a new language version, which often contained many different changes. Starting with .NET 5 in November 2020, we will get new C-sharp versions yearly, including a smaller set of changes. Whenever you have the chance to work on a Greenfield project, make sure to use the latest .NET and C-sharp versions. Whenever you work on an existing project, make sure you understand what framework and language versions are used. That's enough theory we need to know up front. Let's start our journey and let's learn C-sharp programming together. And that's a wrap on our introduction to C-sharp. A huge thank you to Claudio for this insightful tutorial. If you found this snippet helpful, imagine what you can learn in his complete C-sharp and .NET bootcamp course, linked in the top right hand corner and in the description down below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on future tutorials from Claudio and other expert Zero to Mastery instructors. Alright, that's it from me. Keep on coding and I'll catch you in the next video.